Hey, just got welcome back to my soda. It's in worth it. So for today's episode, we got this cool mix right here. And basically what these are are some high quality organic matcha. If you can see the one that we got right here is from a brand called Jade Leaf Matcha. And I actually purchased one of these in the past before and did the unboxing video. But I want to do like another unboxing update video after using this product for like over a year or maybe more than two years since the last time I made this video. But if you can see the one that we got right here is one pound. They do have this available in smaller packs. And for the matcha that we got right here, it is a culinary grade. You can definitely use it for like making smoothie, for cooking, for drinking, or whatever you guys want to. So definitely one to remember is that when you guys get this one right here, it won't be as high grade or as bitter as a ceremonial grade. So if you guys want like a higher grade or higher harvest or like a more bitter taste, or if you guys want like an original taste or a stronger taste of the matcha, you definitely want to go for a ceremonial grade. But for ceremonial grade, you guys are not really supposed to use it for like cooking stuff or baking stuff. That one is for you guys to enjoy it just like a tea. If you see right here, they also tell you guys as well. But first, I'm actually open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So I just want to rip it on the top part right here. So once you guys open up, this actually looks like inside. If you see right here, we do have the one pound of matcha inside. And then right here, they probably got instruction to teach you guys how to use it. So you definitely use it for like matcha shot, matcha latte, baking, smoothie, ice cream, or whatever. And they also provide you guys some more information in the back here as well. So here is what the product looks like when you guys first get it for the one pound bag. I don't want to open it right here. So I'm actually bringing it over the table to open up. So that way I don't make a mess on here. So I'm actually going to do that first. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so this is what the inside of the product looks like. You can see super fresh matcha and everything. I'm going to put it into the container now. All right, so I just added the eggs, the vegetable oil, the water, and also the matcha. You can see the matcha in here. So now we're going to whisk it a little bit. And then after we finish whisking this, we're going to add in like the flour and all the rest of the ingredients to get the actual uh, mix itself. All right, so we just added in the flour. So we're going to mix it all up and then we should be ready to bake and whatnot. All right, so everything's already here. Everything's already here. Um, in case you guys were wondering what kind of uh, cups that I'm using right here. I'm using these right here, the Culinary Parchment Large Baking Cup by Paper Chef. I love these a lot because it's non-stick so you guys can get the whole entire muffin and you guys don't waste any of the muffin that will stick onto it like your regular um, paper clubs. Alright, so this is what the final product looks like right here before we put it into the oven. Alright, so we're putting it in. Leave it for around 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to do 18 right in the middle. Alright, so it's all set and then we're just going to watch the magic happen. Here we have the final product. So let's take it out first. We have the matcha muffins. So here is what we have. This is the final product. Look at how green they are. All right, so this is what the final product looks like. If you can see, it looks super good and super green. All right, welcome back guys. So now that I saw the product, you can definitely see that it looks pretty nice. And when you guys actually taste it, it definitely tastes pretty good and very strong. But like I mentioned earlier, it won't taste as strong compared to a ceremonial grade. So if you guys do want like a stronger matcha taste, you definitely want to go for the ceremonial grade. But definitely the cool thing about using ceremonial grade, like I mentioned earlier, is the fact that you can use it for like baking smoothie, matcha tea, baking stuff, ice cream, or whatever. However you guys want to use it, that is up to you guys. But that is everything that's on the bar right here. Now to go unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not that should work or not. So for the power here, I would definitely have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys love drinking matcha or if you guys just love matcha in general, then definitely getting one of these is actually really worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have to one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.